What I know it sounds weird, but just try it thing do you swear by. After a shower, towel dry like you always do, then grab a new towel and do it again. You'll be amazed how much better it feels to put on clothes when you're totally dry and not 2% moist. When your sinuses are super congested, push your tongue flat against the roof of your mouth and push the heel of your palm against your forehead right along your brow. If you hold it for like 30 seconds and then let go, you will feel your sinuses start to drain. Absolutely amazing. Wish I had known my entire life. I'm super congested right now and this works. Bless your soul I love you. New fathers mothers who have a newborn baby that will not stop crying. I learned this from my grandma on my father's side. God rest her soul. 1. Fold your baby's arms over their chest and place your hand over their arms. 2. Place your other hand under their diapered butt and lift them up so they are about chest high. 3. Lean the baby forward slightly so they are now leaning forward against their arms. 4. Now gently wiggle their butt with your hand and they will stop crying. Remember to be gentle. Grandma told me about this when I was in my 20s and I chuckled thinking it was just her joking around. At 38 years old, I found myself up at 3am in the morning with my newborn baby daughter who just wouldn't stop crying and wouldn't be comforted. I remembered what my grandmother said and tried it. My daughter stopped crying in less than 10 seconds and was asleep in less than a minute. I should have taken that seriously when she told me about it back then. As she did birth 7 kids and had the experience I should have respected. Thanks grandma. I took a baby class before my daughter was born and we watched a video of this doctor doing it. We laughed at it but sure enough, a few weeks after the kid was born, we tried it and it worked. Be nice to people while expecting nothing in return. It will actually make you happy. The second part is the hard part for most people. I live by this. Have some gold, friend. Sticking your hand inside a sack of uncooked rice. Climbing gyms often have a 5 gallon bucket of rice for just this purpose and it feels amazing after you've hung on walls for 2 hours. In a depressed slump with low self esteem and no will to leave the house, take a shower every day, no matter what, just do it, you feel so much better. For so long I thought it was bulls but it genuinely does make a difference after about a week of doing it. To add to that, I have trouble making myself take a shower. But I know that all I have to do is go into the bathroom and take off my clothes. After that I just take the shower whether I want to or not. Just happens automatically. So I used to live near this awesome burger place that had 53 different types of burgers. If you ate all 53 in a year you got a place on their hall of fame. A fake nobody ever did this. But anyway, there was one burger that stood out from all the others due to the hardness of the topping. The Stay Puff Burger. It's a normal burger topped with marshmallows. I had it three times before I moved away. Once when someone dared me to eat it. Twice when I tried to convince others that yes, actually it was delicious. But they would only eat it if I also got it. One of my friends enjoyed it so much that he made his own Stay Puff Burgers at a barbecue. Man, they were good. My name would be in their hall of fame. I work at a thrift shop. I sometimes test toys to see if they work. If they do we sell them if not, we don't. Many times Thomas and his other friend trains. Geotax trains would not work. I googled if there were any known fixes. One guy said, I know this sounds crazy, but throw it or hit it on the ground as hard as you can. If that doesn't work, do it again. Double quote. I was like hey, I have nothing to lose. Slammed the train. Nothing. Slammed it again. Nothing. Seventh time. Stupid train starts working. Now any toy that comes in not working I slam it on my work table. Many times they come back to life. TL. DR. Slamming toys in anger or calmly against the floor or table fixes them. That's officially called percussive maintenance and is a method that's actually used. Anytime you're angry, think instead about whether you're hurt or scared and focus on that. First. My therapist once explained in simple terms where all of those emotions come from. Sadness comes from losing something important to you. Fear comes from a threat. And anger comes from a perceived injustice. Once you understand that it becomes much easier to identify why you feel a certain way and what you can do to feel better. Scratching your ear with a celeb. I have been waiting for a place to share this. It is life changing. I have been doing this for over 10 years. 
put the sellable back massager up to your ear, and put it on the little cartilage thing and then press very gently to your ear hole. Upvoted because this one truly sounds weird, and isn't about weird food, but may actually work. Taking a walk in the night during a work school night. One time in school we had a day off during a Wednesday and me and some friends decided to have a few drinks as a result. The party died off around 2am and I went home. The weather was calm. No people. No cars. Just me and the street lights. I remember just walking in the middle of the road on my way home, which felt so surreal and forbidden in itself. It was really beautiful in a way. I stopped up several times on my way home and just admired the silence and the illuminated, Serb, urban jungle. Unless you work nights, most of us generally don't get the chance to do this too often. But if you don't live in one of those countries' neighborhoods where a stroll during the night isn't wise, then seriously consider going for a leisurely stroll a night where the weather is calm. It's honestly quite magical. As a tiny woman, I don't feel like this is wise. Take the sip of water before you put the pill in your mouth. The pill will then float in the water in your mouth and not touch the sides or back of your mouth. It feels like all you're swallowing is water, and it makes it much easier to swallow pills especially big ones. A pinch of salt in your coffee. It cuts the bitterness allowing you to use less sweet in it to drown out the bitter. If you handle garlic and want to remove the smell from your hands don't use soap, use salt. Or rub them on the inside of your stainless steel sink. Gone in like 3 seconds. Captain Morgan Spice Rum and Arizona Green Tea. There's something magical about this combo that makes the alcohol taste disappear. So all you taste is a pleasant spice tea. One part rum, two parts tea. Add some ice, and enjoy. Great way to get way too drunk very quickly. Quite known drink in Poland. Mixing tea with rum. We call it Herberta Gorolska. Take a shot of vodka. Burns a bit. Pick up a hunk of fresh bread and sniff deeply. Burn goes away. You must be Russian. A hiccup remedy. Take as deep of a breath as you can and hold it. While holding it force yourself to swallow. The act of swallowing will force some air out of your nose. So you can now breathe in more. Repeat this process of breathing as deep as possible. Holding. And swallowing to free up some airspace. It's worked for me every time for the past decade after 3-5 breaths. That's because hiccups are a spasm of the diaphragm. Holding as much air in as possible temporarily paralyses the diaphragm and interrupts the spasms. Lay down on the floor in a sunspot. I didn't think it was weird until my husband asked me what I was doing and I had to say, I'm laying in a sunspot. Our living room has these big windows and the sun hits this area of the carpet and omg it's the best laying area. There's a reason why cats do this crap. Back in the late 70s when my dad was working morning shifts he'd come home from work, grab a pillow from the sofa, and take a 20 minute nap in a sunspot, and I'd curl up beside him and fall asleep with my head in the nook of his arm. Thank you for bringing back a forgotten memory. Colon 3. Keep a pair of brand new socks to wear the day after having a really bad day. Fresh socks are game changer after a hard day. Leave your debit credit card at home. Seriously, this is something I started doing two years ago as an experiment to see exactly how much money I was spending on things that were just unnecessary. As it turns out, I'm naturally more frivolous than I thought. When I do my I need to save up so I'm leaving my card at home strategy. I live by a few guidelines. 1. My card is only to be used to buy gas and groceries. Then it is to immediately be put back on my dresser. 2. $20 is to be in my car for emergencies but never touched. 3. I'm to keep a water bottle in my car at all times, because water fountains are free thirst quenchers. On average I save about $300 per month when I do this, and I usually lose about 5-10 lbs per month due to not consuming junk food. Anytime anyone asks me how I'm so good at saving money I just tell them I'll leave my debit card at home. Add a couple of drops of light. Soy sauce to some vanilla ice cream. It makes the ice cream taste like caramel. Weird but true. Putting peanut butter on a hamburger. Everyone laughs until they try it. Gin beer. Take a cheap, light beer. I use Coors Light and put a shot of gin in it. Doesn't have to be great gin. It tastes fantastic. You actually want a relatively flavorless beer. So it's like a more alcoholic gin and tonic. 
Everyone I've introduced this to became a believer. This beer tastes like alcohol poisoning. Freezing Vinna Fruits. It tastes amazing trust me. Also works great with cut up banana. Put them in wine and you don't water it down. The next time you are alone on a long drive, scream as hard and loud as you can. I promise you will have a stupid grin on your face directly after. Huge fan of this. It's weird how driving on a highway surrounded by other vehicles is the only alone time most people get in the day. If you're driving on a cold below freezing day, tod the end of your drive, turn your heater all the way to cold, set it to outside air, and put it on the windshield setting. Open your windows, and let your car interior achieve ambient temperature for 5-10 minutes before you park and lock up. Odds are that your body will be warm enough from blasting the heat for your whole drive that you'll only feel a little chilly on your skin rather than getting cold to the bone. Be sure to park so that your windshield isn't facing the sun. If applicable, doing this reduces eliminates windshield frost ice while parked. Humidity happens because of a temperature differential between the windshield and outside air, and when it freezes you get frost. If you eliminate that temperature differential, no more humidity, no more frost. This also helps when it snows as it won't melt on your warm windshield and freeze later. A cold windshield is like rain x during winter. Source, Wisconsin resident who's driven hundreds of thousands of winter miles. Rubbing butts in the shower with your SO. Get nice and soapy first, then turn away from each other, and then rub your butts back and forth together. Don't have a so so I'll ask my brother. Every time I go to Chipotle, I get the cup filled most of the way with root beer, and then top it off with lemonade. It sounds really weird, but if you try it once, you'll never go back. It doesn't work that well at other places though. There's something about a Chipotle burrito and root beer lemonade. You just reminded me, half orange soda, half Dr. Pepper is a real good drink for some reason. At night after you pull in and park somewhere, turn the car off and just sit for a few minutes. So peaceful and calm, and it's great to just cut the engine and lose the noise and the lights for a little while. Wet your pizza before throwing it in the microwave. The wife thought I was crazy for suggesting it until she tried it. I just pop it in the oven. Cream cheese on waffles. When I was little, my dad would put cream cheese on my waffles in lieu of syrup, and even in my adult years I cannot eat a waffle any other way. It tastes a little bit like cheesecake. Salt on apples or sometimes other fruits. If you like that try tagine. It's a salt citrus and chili powder seasoning that really elevates the depth of flavor for fruit and many other things. I suggest pineapple, watermelon, and cantal up to start, but I put it on everything. Shower with the lights off. I don't know what emotion I'm trying to elicit but it's pretty amazing. Your bathroom shower area has to be pretty clean though, as in you know what's where. Cause once I tried this at my parents place and when I shone my phone light to see where I'm going I was met by cockroaches. Foo yuck that. I tried this and I washed my face with conditioner. A bidet. Disclaimer you will never feel fully clean after using any other toilet. Open an M&M's packet at one end. Place it in the microwave for 20 seconds. The chocolate inside the shell will have melted. The crunchy outside will mostly keep it together. So it's just shots of molten chocolate. Upvote for your passionate defense of your microwave. Wrapping the hotel remote in the little plastic bag that you find in the ice bin. I once roomed up with one of my larger, shower reverse friends at a hotel in Vegas. First thing he did was scratch his notes. I mean, he really got in there, then picked up the remote and turned on the TV with the same hand. Place your keys on something you are prone to forget. You literally can't leave without it. You have underestimated me and perhaps some others. I could put my keys under that same thing, and still leave without it. Orange marmalade with sausages, particularly on a sausage sandwich. The marmalade's sweetness complements the sausage, while the bitter peel cuts through the fat. Jam jelly won't work, has to be proper marmalade, with peel. Peanuts in a coke are my sworn by road trip fuel. Really not much difference between eating them separately but it's nice to be able to do it with one hand on the wheel still and it's just a little more fun. I showed this to a friend and he didn't believe me when I insisted everyone did it in my hometown. He called it redneck boba. Opening a bag of chips upside down. 
Flip it upside down, then open from the bottom of the bag, now facing upright. It comes from the manufacturer in a box, shipped in that box, and then sits on a shelf until you buy it, to add set. So all the good flavor has worked its way down to the bottom of the bag. The first Doritos, or whatever chip it may be, taste great, if not all. You have been visited by the IT lizard. Upvote or experience bad internet for a month. Thanks for watching. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video, or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.